Hey, real estate friends and fans, Jeremy Larkin here, CEO of the Larkin Group Home Selling Team with your uh, July 11th, 7-11, 2022 weekly Southern Utah real estate report. Uh, we're right here in beautiful downtown St. George. We work in Cedar City, Iron County, uh, St. George, Ivan, Santa Clara, Washington City, Hurricane, Laverican, Virgin. There's a lot of cool town, cool town names around here. Guys, we're trying to put one of these out every single week. You can check them out over at youtube.com slash go St. George TV. Just look up the Larkin Group or go St. George TV on YouTube and you can start to watch some trend data. You're going to find this information to be fascinating. Here we go, guys. Let's get to it. So uh, I, I'm showing you right here our GoStGeorge.com website. So whether you're a uh, looking in Washington County, if you're looking at our GoStGeorge.com page, GOSTGeorge.com, or if you want to be looking in Iron County, uh, GoCedarCity.com. Here's the fun part. Both of these sites will tell you in real time how many, literally in real time, how many homes are for sale. For instance, it says there are 1,264 listings right now in the Washington County MLS. That is not necessarily only Washington County. About 15%, maybe 10 to 15% of our listings might be non-Washington County listings, pushing in Iron County and vice versa, a few listings from Salt Lake City. If somebody listed a home right now, it'd go to 1265. Uh, Iron County right now, 538. But what we're going to do is we're going to get really granular with you with a big market shift that's going on right now. You're all aware of it right now. So let me talk about what's going on in Washington County. So guys, uh, we look, we created something called the Washington County uh, Weekly Real Estate Pulse. And this is a document that we created at the Larkin Group. It's not a, at the risk of sounding like, hey, this is exclusive. This is not public data. It's public data, I guess, in a way, if you went to the MLS and you created it. I started tracking this data in Washington County on the 2nd of June, 2021. So we are well over a year now on the 11th of July. And I want to point something out. On the 2nd of June, 2021, there were 313 listings uh, in Washington County, not on the Washington County MLS. Remember, we showed you this page. I mean, in Washington County. At the time, the average asking price was 951. Well, why was it so high? Because you have people asking five, $10 million for a few homes and it upsets the average. 772 pending contracts, meaning a buyer and seller had consummated a contract and it was somewhere in the process. Uh, 552,000 was the average contract price. Uh, in terms of the closed sales, there were 66 closed sales that week and the average sales price was 510. At the time, I wasn't tracking median home prices. Uh, last week, we decided that we'd start plugging in the median home price for you. Median is more a more accurate uh, kind of predictor of what's going on in the market because it's the middle, right? Averages are thrown averages are thrown off by a really high sales or act or, or listing price, right? So one thing I want to point out is this, guys: there were 313 listings a year ago on the market. As a matter of fact, exactly a year ago, there were four. 20 okay now here's what gets wild today there are 1005 listings we just broke the 1000 listing mark we are up 125 percent inventory wise in washington county year over year uh, iron county is going to look similar that is causing downward pressure on home prices 1005 listings for sale now let's think about what this means in terms of buyers and sellers if I'm a buyer, I love this, right? Because I have 300 listings, now I have 1,005. Imagine that. It's actually like, it's quadru technically it's quadrupled. Um, there's another data point that I'm mixing in. I don't want to confuse you. 1,005 listings. As a buyer, I have four times as many choices as I did a year ago. Here's the rub. Last year, mortgage interest rates were like at that 2.8, 2.9% rate. Now they're at 55 to 6%. So the cost of borrowing money has more than doubled, right? Now we always put this in terms of monthly cost. The, the average monthly cost of having a mortgage for like a typical home in our median home price, 524 range, has gone up about $300. It's a lot of money. And what it's doing again, between inventory going up and mortgage rates going up is causing downward pressure on prices. Now, we track this in a number of ways, and I want to share something with you. I'm going to bring a window in here. We track something. We have what's called a, a hot sheet. And the hot sheet, I'm able to look uh, 
last 24 hours, last 48 hours, whatever, I'm able to see what's happening in the market. Now watch this. If I run a quick search hot, hot sheet, I can tell you in the last seven days, how many new listings have hit the market, how many people have reduced their price, how many have closed, how many have gone under contract, et cetera, et cetera. This is the number I wanna point out. 166 people, families, home sellers, reduced their asking price in the last week in Washington County. That doesn't mean values are falling, okay? What it first of all means is they were asking too much for their home, right? They just, period, they were. It's gonna be a while before sellers kind of graduate or adapt to uh, understanding where prices are right now. We're out of that FOMO, I call it a FOMO market, you know, the, the end of the FOMO market. FOMO was like, gosh, if I don't buy a home right now, I feel like I'm missing out, fear of missing out. I have to buy. And it was causing buyers to stair step or bid against each other and, and bid prices ever, ever increasingly higher. That market's gone, guys. It like 100% gone. Now you can still create a bidding war by pricing your home assertively and staging it correctly and having somebody do a great job marketing the home. We still have some, but that market as a whole is over. So um, a lot of the, the big question for people, we're gonna talk about Iron County momentarily. Well, could prices fall? Absolutely they could fall. And what I want you to understand is that real estate prices rise and fall all the time. The goal is that from start to finish, meaning start of your life to end of your life, start of owning your home to end of owning your home, over 10, 15, 20 years, is that values will rise and they have. If we look back two decades, let's go back to the year 2002, home prices have absolutely gone up, right? They've gone up. It's not even a question that they've gone up over the last two decades. They've gone up stratospherically over the last 10 years. So we kind of have a perfect storm brewing, not for a bunch of foreclosures and a market, um, like a meltdown, but for some downward pressure on pricing. The market is absolutely correcting. It has to, right? It has to correct. We can't see that appreciation forevermore. So here's what you see today. You see the average listing price has come down from well over a million, asking price from well over a million dollars to 864 over the last period of time. Remember that's asking price. That includes a lot of high-end real estate that's not selling. The average uh, pending contract has come down from the 700s into the 600s. Uh, the, the, the number of pending sales has come down from above 700. We peaked out in March this year. We're down to 497 for the first time in, guys, uh, holy crap. For the first time in at least three years, we have fewer than 500 pending home sales in Washington County. Watch that number. The average sales price is down as a whole. It pushed up into the 700 range for a bit. It's down to 671. Here's what's interesting to me. Look at that closed sale number. 38 homes sold this last week in Washington County. Do you realize how high that was? We, 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 we saw just about 100 homes close, eh, 90 plus close in a week for a period there. 38 homes closing is the fewest home sales we've seen in a week in years, okay? The last thing is the median home price. We're gonna watch this is 524. The average price is down to 671. Okay. We need more data to understand where this has gone, okay? But for sellers, here's what I wanna point out. Buyers, we're talking about this marry the house, date the rate thing, and we're gonna keep doing this every week. Marrying the house, dating the rate means this. You buy a home, you go into our website, you go to gostgeorge.com and you're like, uh, I really like Santa Clara and uh, uh, it brings us up and, and you know, I my, I don't care about a minimum price. I want the lowest price I can, but 650 uh, is my, uh, the most I can afford. And you run a home search, right? Well, you come up here and you see nine properties. You need to understand something. A year ago, there would have been two or three properties. So you might buy this home for 580 uh, over at 1656 Bench Drive. And you might not like the interest rate. You're marrying the home. Let's say rates fall later. You can refinance, you're dating the rate and you have the ability to lower your interest rate. Let's say the rates go higher, which the Fed said they might do. You're happy you locked the rate in. So for buyers, uh, that's what kind of what the mindset is. For sellers, I need to be clear with you. Downward pressure on prices right now. There's downward pressure. Now let's go over to Iron County. Again, you can go to our gocedarcity.com site. I wanna paint a picture of what's going on here. The exact 
same thing. We do a weekly, we do a bi-weekly radio show in Iron County. We do a weekly radio show in, C in St. George. 329 active listings in Iron County right now. Uh, back in March, 110. The listing inventory has tripled in three months. That is beautiful for buyers, but causing downward pressure on prices for sellers. And we're seeing it, guys. Look at the average sales prices. Now look, you saw some average sales prices well over $500,000 and last week it was 308. Understand that one week is too much of a sliver of data. That probably means that some cheap, a couple of really inexpensive homes sold. And if we had one week where a lot of, where a couple of really expensive homes sold like here, 530, it upsets the average. So we're gonna start giving you the median home price data upcoming. So that's what's going on in Iron County. It's a similar mirror image. Both Iron and Washington County saw home values go up about 30% from 2020 to 20, or excuse me, 2021 to 2022. It's too much. It's too much appreciation in a year. Let me leave you with this, okay? We're 11 minutes into this thing if you stuck with us. Southern Utah Title produces a report called the Good News Report. They always make it sound nice. I think this is interesting. This is only Washington County. I can't show you iron. I don't have that data. But there's something called a trustee's deed. A trustee's deed is a foreclosure. It's a technical term. Well, what comes before a trustee's deed is a foreclosure notice. 90 days prior is what's called the notice of default. One thing I want to point out is that notice of defaults, you could say, oh my gosh, there were 34 notices of defaults in, in April and last year there were only six in Washington County. Foreclosures are booming. They're actually not. What happened is a whole bunch of people were probably in forbearance, meaning they had put off making a payment for a long time. And a batch of those homes came out of forbearance. And now the banks are like, hey, you gotta make your payment or uh, we're gonna foreclose. As a whole, last month, there were nine notices of default. Remember that only a fraction of notices of default go to foreclosure. And we can see that here. So far this year, there was one foreclosure in January, zero in February, two in March, zero in April, zero in May, and zero in June. We do not predict a foreclosure boom. If you're looking for a deal because you heard the market was going down, probably won't exist. All right. So I want to remind you, visit go, uh, gostgeorge.com. If you'd like to search the MLS, look for homes 24 seven in your underpants. Uh, you can also get uh, information on your home's value. You can do the same thing for gocedarcity.com, guys. We love talking about um, Southern Utah, living the Southern Utah uh, lifestyle. We do that in St. George, Cedar City, Brian had all of it. If you've got questions about living here, moving here, buying a home here, selling a home here, we can answer. Peace out, have an amazing week. Bye-bye.